Now, the Wabash Valley's most accurate and reliable newscast continues with Storm Team 10's Joseph Dames. Well, we're kicking off our October nice here across the Wabash Valley. Temperatures will be warming up into the 80s today. 69 degrees in Terre Haute. It has warmed up fast over the last hour or so. Sun is shining. We have that wind out of the southeast right around 5 miles per hour. What are we tracking over the next few hours and into tomorrow? Well, we'll be discussing that we just have one more nice day and then we're going to track that precipitation that will roll in as we get further on into our Thursday, which could bring in some stronger storms and then behind it, though, a major drop in temperatures. Now, with those storms that are rolling in, we do have a chance for some strong to severe weather. We'll definitely keep an eye on that as this system moves in, but we do have a slight risk, and that is the whole region that is painted in yellow here. As you can tell, that does include portions of the Wabash Valley. So what's going to bring those storms in? Well, here's a wide shot of what we have really going on. There's a low pressure system just off to the northwest. It's going to slowly migrate off to the east and bring in this cold front. Here it is right there. That's sparking up those showers and thunderstorms through portions of Iowa and streaming down into Missouri, already f pushing some clouds into Illinois. So over the next uh, few hours and throughout the night tonight into tomorrow, this cloud coverage will start to inch its way east and that rain will follow along with it. We don't have to worry about that for today, though. Today will be one of the last days that we see some nice temperatures into the 80s, at least for a little while. We do have the day broke down right here, 1 p.m., 72 degrees, 4 p.m. into the lower 80s, not too bad, and sunshine throughout the day all the way into the evening. I'll reconfirm that on the future cast here as we get through the day. You'll notice from Rockville all the way down to the southern portion of Vincennes, we're staying clear and we're staying dry. But it'll be tonight when clouds start to roll in, especially in Illinois. You might start to see some showers push through. Now tonight our lows won't be in the 40s like they were, and they won't be in the 50s. They'll actually be falling down to the lower 60s, so a pretty mild night out there. We'll pick back up at Thursday at 9 a.m. Here's that cold front that will be moving on through. That's going to bring those showers and thunderstorms through the central portion of Illinois. But you'll notice as we get through the day Thursday, it'll be a little bit later before we see that rain rolling on in for us here throughout Terre Haute and down to the south. And it's going to stick around. It's going to stick around for quite a while. We'll see some precipitation all the way through our Thursday night and into our Friday. It's going to take a while for the system to roll on through and clear out, and we shouldn't see that until about Saturday. All right, so today, 80 degrees, one last pleasant day. Just staying sunny out there. You'll definitely need the sunglasses. Tonight, falling down to right around 60 degrees. A few more clouds will start to develop as we head into the overnight hours, and that will push through our region. Seven-day forecast, though. Like I said, Saturday should dry up, but it's also going to cool off. 55 degrees by Saturday. Only 55 degrees. Sunday, 64 into Monday, 66. And then another chance for some rain starts to move on in by Tuesday. But the 80s are pretty much going to be gone after tomorrow. We're just going to see some cooler fall normal weather as we get into Saturday through Wednesday.